Tracking our finances is extremely important. And why wouldn't we automate the entire process to make it better, easier, and faster? That's why in this video, I will show you step-by-step step how you can build the simple automation that handles everything for you. So whenever you've got any expense or even income, it's automatically saved inside some database. So for an example, let's say I've got the following expense. I bought a bike for $600 on June 15th. And now I can simply run it to my A agent that handles the entire process. And afterwards, the data should be sent inside my um, Google Sheets. So inside my database, where we have the description, cost, date, and type. So let's wait a few seconds more and let's see what happens because actually this automation is really powerful. So let's say for an example, I've got the following expense. I bought a bike for $600 on June 15th. And after I run it, my A agent handles the entire problem and here it should save the data inside my Google Sheets. And as you can see here, we've got a description, cost, date and type. So here, bought a bike, cost, date and type. For an example, to show you how it works, let's say I've got the following prompt. I bought a bike for $600 on June 15th and now I can run it and my A agent handles the entire problem and it should save the data inside here. So inside my expenses database inside Google Sheets. So here we've got a description, cost, date and type. And there you can see, bought a bike, cost $600, the exact date, the date and at the end we've got the expense. So this A agent is so, so powerful. You could just type here the messages and afterwards have your expenses tracked and also the income. And the best part is, even before we build it step by step, inside our totally free community, you can find the expense tracker. So inside, you can download the JSON file, and afterwards, you can just import this entire template um, to your workflow and just use it um, right now, right away, without just setting it up. So I will put the link in the description of this video. Nevertheless, for now, let's start and build this entire project. So first things first, we've got our trigger, which is on chat message. There, right away, we would like to go over with a agent that will handle for us um, the entire um, yeah the entire um, request. So there, what we have, um, we've got actually our option we need to add. There, we've got system message, and right now I prepared the system message. Also, we can copy that um, from our um, school community. So here, what we have. You are a helpful assistant, you are used to save expenses or income, always refer to 2025 year. So we just give the entire um, concept for um, the message. And there, what we can do, we can provide here our um, input data. So let's say I bought uh, flowers or, or maybe let's say I bought um, grocery uh, for um, $128 for June, um, let's say 8. All right, let's run it. And now what we can do, we can go over even here, um, enable our model because we'll be using OpenAI um, GPT for Omini. And now even we can run it. So see, um, we've got the output. So got it, you've recorded a grocery expense of $128 on June 8th. We can go over to our memory and here at our memory, which is optional, however I like actually um, to model, remember what I said in the past. So this is not really random. Um, then what we can do, we can add the tool, which will be called NADN workflow tool. Because here we would like afterwards to create, um, you know, uh, the entire next automation that will save our expenses. So here, what I can do, I can go over there and type the name. So this is the expense uh, database. Um, add the description. So there, what I can type, call the tool um, to save um, the expenses or income. We've got a database and here the workflow. So there just provide, click on ID and there just paste and um, just copy and paste this entire ID because we would like to have like our parent, um, yeah, like our um, parent workflow from this entire ID. Uh, what we can do else, we can go over here and add um, the step, which is edit response. And there it's optional. You can do this or not. However, I like to have everything mapped. So there response and there provide the value, which is response and their chat input. So after we do this, we've got um, actually the response and the data. So let's wait a while. Um, so we can see we've got the response. I bought grocery for $128 on June 8th. 
and it's cool. We can go over further and this is our, um, yeah, this is our part for handling the request from um, the user. And now let's go ahead and provide, um, let's close the chat and there provide a note. We can go over to executor. However, um, we would like to have the trigger, which is when executed by another workflow. And right there, uh, what do we need to do? We need to set up the mock data. So the static data, we would like to create the entire project. Of course, later we'll remove it and we'll map everything um, yeah, automatically. Nevertheless, for now, we need to add it. So firstly, let's go over to um, here. Let's go over here and uh, just copy this chat input. Um, so let's go over there. And what we can do, we can go over here, um, click on set mock data and now do the following stuff. Um, remove that and type um, quotation query, quotation um, colon, and there in the quotation marks, let's provide this data. So I bought grocery for yeah this price and um, yeah at this date. We can save it and pin the data, it's pinned. And now what we can do, we can go over um, to our extractor. So we would like to extract the data from yeah this um, previous step. And now what we can do, um, I can type something like extract the data in JSON format. Um, let's type it. And here let's add attributes. So firstly, what we'll have, let's uh, provide a cost, which is the number. Uh, we've got a description. This is the cost um, of expense or let's say income. Let's enable that as required. Let's add attribute. The next um, attribute will be description. Um, we can provide a string description. This is the description for the expense or income. Let's make it required. Add next attribute, which will be the date. Um, so let's provide a date. This is the date of the operation. Operation. Let's make it required. And at the end, what we can do, actually what's missing, uh, we can provide a type, right? So we would like to decide whether it's um, the expense or income. So expense, expense or income. And now what we can do, we can go over and, and add the model to actually think. There we've got a GBT40 mini. Um, let's run it. I would like to see how it performs. Um, so let's test a step. It's being executed. Um, all right, we need to provide also the variables of the query, of course. Um, yeah, let's go over there. Let's provide the variable. Um, and here, what we can do, we can stop it. And now let's again run it. Uh, all right, we've got a cost. We've got a description. We've got a date and expense. Additionally, um, we've got a problem because we've got 2023. So inside a agent, we can provide. Always refer to 2025 year and the date. Let's um, actually leave it. And when, when we'll be testing this out later, we'll see if that works. So now what we have, um, we've got this entire data. Uh, and lastly, what we can do, we can save this data inside Google Sheets. So let's provide Google Sheets. Um, up and row in a sheet. Um, so here in general, I created this document um, my expenses. So here we've got a description, cost, date, type. Um, also, we can copy that from our school community. Um, so just click here, make a copy and you know, just use it. So now I can use this data here. Let's pick my expenses. Um, there is a sheet. And let's provide a description, um, the date, the cost and the type. That's correct. Let's test a step and see if that works here. Um, yeah, that's cool. We've got it. And now what we can do, we can go back to Canvas and it's very important. We can save this entire um, workflow and now we can go over here. All right, what do we have here? All right, we need to click on accept all data. Let's go back. Let's stop this workflow from running. And there, let's unpin the data. So we've got accept all data, unpinned. And now we can go over here again, save it. And now everything is mapped. So there we've got the JSON query and, and this is like connected. Let's refresh the page so you see how it works. Um, and now let's open the chat. 
open chat and now let's type. I bought a car for let's say 11,000 um, on June 17th. Let's run it and let's see. Hopefully it works. So yeah, as we can see it works and it should appear there. So car purchase, we've got it all right. However, we don't have the expense. What happened here? So there, as you can see, we didn't make the type required. That's why it didn't work. Let's make it required. And now let's type for an example. I earned uh, $1,000 from my side hustle um, on May uh, 15th. Let's run it and now let's see if that performs. So there, uh, let's wait. Income from side hustle, $1,000, date and income. Let's provide something else. So I bought, um, what we can buy? I bought a laptop for um, $2,200 on June 1st. Let's run it so you can see it works. Um, let's wait. I'm actually need to wait some time. However, here, bought a laptop, cost, date, and expense. So even it detects the specific type of the operation. And by this way, for me, it's just more comfortable to speak with the chat instead of just, you know, fulfilling all of these brackets. Of course, you can modify this entire template, add additional fields. Like you have the entire template, you can modify it. For sure, it's, it's very, very powerful. Um, actually, remember to check out our free school community. Inside, you've got the template to download. And also, you've got, I will add the data here, so the template for um, Google Sheets and others, so you can check it out. And um, furthermore, we've got here other tutorials for POF Video Creator with NADEN. So there are a lot of information, like look on that. You've got all of the prompts. You can copy that totally for free, 100% free. Um, inside the classroom also we've got there the mini courses. So Hear Me Journey mini course, Sorry AI mini course, Image Generation mini course, 100% free, additional YouTube video creator, um, community of 400 members uh, where we talk, we learn AI and a lot of more. So I will put again the link in the description, in the description of this video. And um, thank you for watching this material. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave the like for the YouTube algorithm, click the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.